What's up guys, here Ultimate Whatever, it's Wanna Chaos 2033, and read the sign because this is the Redstone Tutorial World. There will be a lot more than Redstone Tutorials here, but, you know, it's the first thing that came to mind when I was going to start up this world. <laughs> we have a giant milk bucket because that was the first thing I dropped, and of course, the, uh, here lies the remains of the sunset balcony. The sun got too hot. And if I back up, you can see that it looks like a uh, guy that has a splinter in his eye that is screaming. But let's get on to what the redstone, or what the, wow, what the redstone is promising. What the video is promising. As you may notice that I am very hyper, that's because I am not doing this at, at fucking night. I'm doing it midday, so I actually have fucking energy. Yeah! Torches, that's what I need. I mean, you can choose any slab, really, or any block for, like, the base thing. I use obsidian most of the time. You could use literally anything except for, like, gravel and sand, or anvils, or yeah, shit like that. I just have a preference to obsidian. Alright, now, what you need to do for the simple cannon power 7, which is what I'm showing you how to build here, is to make a 9 meter line. All outside that 9 meter line, you need to surround most of it with your block that you used. My fucking friend went a step ahead when I'm trying to do the tutorial. Now, you may notice that the water stopped there. That's because the slab goes right here. That's exactly how it's supposed to be for this cannon. Now, this can be on either side, but we're going to have it on the right for this particular time. Now, the water source block goes there, and that goes all the way down there. Good. Now, Personally, I like having a block over the water source, but you could have one, you could have a button right there, instead of on that block. But, like I said, I prefer it like this. So we have it like that, put the torch on there, or not, if you don't want one, I just do that because this is how I have my cannon. Really, most of the things on this are decorative. Now, since this is this side without the block popping up there, uh, we have it all the way there. You can have it all the way down, or you can have a torch there, which is my friend's preference, but I don't care what's there, so fuck it. This is one of the few cannons where, uh, by the way, we're putting in six repeaters. This is one of the few cannons where it does not matter if that redstone piece is there. It does matter, though, if the redstone piece is on top of that block. Alright, so let's load this up. Now, you could have a second projectile, or if I get a bow out, there's a bow. Uh, fuck the torches. You could also get a bow out or a flame bow and just start, you know, putting arrows on it. Now, personally, we're gonna do both. Personally, I prefer both. Because, you know, it's not always a chance that the arrows will work. The projectiles most of the time will, unless something fucked up with the cannon. Or just, like, logic, Minecraft logic, and a little of it. But let's fire it off and see if it works. Check that all's work. Arrows did not. But yep, that's pretty much as far as you're gonna get with this. Uh, the fucking arrows didn't work too well. The second uh, shot probably blew up right before the ground, but that one blew. Well, I already showed it blew up right there. These are not the most reliable for distance covering projectiles. Uh, that will be a later cannon either in this video or next. Or maybe even the one after that. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for the next or the one after that. Yet. Yet. Now, you could put a second repeater here, but you cannot have an eighth, for that will fuck up everything. Uh, let's go two projectiles again. This one, all we'll do is just make it so that the projectiles last a little longer out there. Making them either cover more distance or just, you know, blow up at a later time. Yeah, but that is the Power 7... Simple Cannon. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Now, uh... Actually, no, I, I, killed a, I killed a little pigu. Gotta make a, gotta make a grave. So let's uh, 
bury that shit. It's back! He's alive! Oh, well, doesn't matter anymore. Alright. Good. Uh, let's see. Rest in peace, uh... Fuck, what should I name him? Rest in peace, Porkins. Fuck. There we go. Rest in peace, Porkins. Right. Next cannon. Uh, what should we do? I'm probably gonna have to do this multiple points in the video, grabbing all this shit, but it's just to remind you what you need for this particular thing. What else do I need? Uh, torch, yeah, of course. Yeah, I think that's appropriate. <laughs> right, so, for this one, pretty much we're actually... Or, uh, fuck. That's not what I was talking about. Um, that, that right there was to show you that would be like the dimension for one of the sides on a slightly smaller cannon. The the Power 7 Simple Cannon is pretty much as big as this design of the Simple Cannon can get. I have longer ones because I edited the design a little bit. Now my friend here, he's going to be making his Staircase Cannon. Not the most reliable thing, I would not recommend it putting it close to anything that you know and love. Because it will blow it up most likely. Just follow this design exactly if you uh, actually want to try it out and see if you can improve it or something. I don't know. It's worth a shot. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go fix something for him. There we go. You don't necessarily need the blocks underneath them. It's just that it looks better if you do have them there. You do need some kind of block underneath the cannons, but you don't necessarily need the one same ones that match the cannon, that's what I meant to say. The grass would work perfectly fine if it didn't blow up constantly, but you know. That's why I that's why I use obsidian. I don't use bedrock because it doesn't look good. Sometimes I use black wool because, you know, black just sticks good with cannons. You may note that the water is coming down from the top instead of, you know, just having a water source block on each and every step. By the way, if you are going to make this and load it, never load it from the bottom. If you load it from the bottom, then you'll blow up the cannon, un probably unintentionally. Always load it from the top. And in a little bit, he will show you how to load it in the top. I should probably put my phone on mute just in case Natalie texts me. There we go. Alright. That's how you load this thing. Never cut up never cover up your water source block and never fucking load the thing from the bottom. It works pretty well, except for that. Actually now that I look at it, this thing works perfectly, didn't it? We don't quite know what the problem is. For everything that is here should work, but for some reason it just fucking doesn't wanna. Alright, my, my friend is going to edit the design because it's not quite the way he wants it. So... That's how it's going to be this time. Note, he put the TNT block over the, uh, water, so the water source block. 
Well, that worked perfectly. He, uh, forgot to... Yeah, he forgot to put that bits in piece in. Ah, shit. Drop my phone. <clears throat> now, just to see if any... Uh, actually, I probably shouldn't use gravel for this. Just to see if any pr uh, charge is blowing up, or just to see which charge is blowing the whole fucking thing up, I'm going to use these stone bricks to kind of judge which one it, wi it was. It was. Weird. <laughs> fucking words. And then some noises. Ah, oh, crap. Right, so, let's see this time. Let's fire the fucking cannon, you dickbag. Well, it's pretty obvious which one's gonna blow it up this time. Hey, at least your projectile went farther. Fucking projectile landed right there. Right. This is all the shit that you're gonna need for the cannon that I'm building next. What I am building is the overly accurate slash overly powered cannon. Or overpowered. OP. OA and OP cannon. Uh, you're gonna meet, need pretty much all the same shit as the uh, Power 7 simple cannon. Or rather just the simple cannon in general. The... oh. The only difference is, uh... Shit. Really, you need. Really, you just start off with the same design as the Simple Cannon Power 7. Then, what you want to do. Well, actually, instead, instead of like having one, you have two, and you start the redstone at the bottom instead of on the sides. And we're gonna put this, uh. We're gonna put seven repeaters on this so that the projectile can go as far as it can. Or last as far as it can. Uh, last as far, last as long. And then put the slab there. Alright. Now, as you can see, there's just a slight difference between the two. Now, this is when they really start to separate. This one, you have two additional... You, ha you can have one to two additional racks of TNT. I'm going to put two since it's, you know... It's the uh, overly accurate slash overpowered. Oh, AOP. Opa. <laughs> that works. We'll call, it, we'll call it the Opa Cannon. No, wait, that wouldn't work. Never mind. Whatever. Alright, now you always need to, uh, you always need to torch it up, of course. Except for cigarettes, because fuck you. Now, don't just keep those things blank. You do need to fill up redstone like how I am doing right now. You always need to uh, fill this in. Alright. That should be all good. Actually, I'm gonna put... Uh, no. What the fuck's going on with my capture card? Alright, that should be good. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put two more torches here, because you need to torch it up. Except for cigarettes, because fuck you. Alright, this is the over... This is the OP cannon design. I don't know where the fuck I went. Next. I am showing you the OA cannon design. The difference between this cannon and the the uh, OP cannon and the OA cannon. Is that right? Yeah, that's good. All right. The difference between the OP and the OA cannon is that slab right there. That slab is the only difference between the two. That um. Oh, yeah. Pull the repeaters back, by the way, people. I'm sorry about that. I'm a fucking genius, aren't I? 
<laughs> Alright, so uh, let's load these up again just to see how how uh, long they really do last and let's see if the OA cannon or the OP cannon actually does land instead of just fly off into the distance. Again, that was the OA. Now this is the OP. Up. Oppo. All right. Now this is the OP cannon. It's fired it off. Damn. That made a. That made a pretty good distance away. <laughs> Fucking sheep, get off my cannon, or get off the cannons. Alright, my friend is, wow, well, using obsidian. Maybe he should use a different block there, whatever. My friend is gonna go uh, check where generally the projectile landed. Alright, let's see here. Uh, let's make a gravel cannon, shall we? <laughs> or an anvil cannon, rather. Alright, you're gonna need a regular piston for this. You could use a sticky piston, but I wouldn't recommend it. Regular piston and a redstone torch in this one. Again, start out with the Power 7 design. And it's just like a slight change, or a slight alteration to it. Because that's what most of my cannons are. They're just slight alterations to the simple cannon designs. Because, well, we that's kind of what we just based everything off of. Now, uh, now you need to put all this shit on. So just give me a second to go through and fucking do that. Alright. Have the piston. Yeah, that, that works. I'll have the piston in that little space there. Uh, hmm. Right, since there are isn't a actual TNT charge. We have no need need for repeaters in this one, or at least for. Actually, we still have a need for repeaters, just not for the, not in that same spot. Uh, this is a block low. Let me just uh fix that. There we go. Now this is where the redstone torch that comes into play. There's the piston. Oh, there's the torch. All right. Uh, hmm. There we get. There it is. We're gonna use anvil this time, and we're gonna use a anvil this time. <laughs> Put the redstone on there. All right. That's good. Good, good, very good. <clears throat> now, this is when we start using repeaters. There's seven there. What we're gonna use here is we're gonna use nine here. All right, and we are all set up. Just pull all of these back. It takes a just about a nine repeaters pulled all the way back is equivalent to one TNT exploding. By that I mean like time-wise, not like power. Let's make, the, let's make sure this all works. Yep. All right. Now I'll just put the projectile back. I'm actually gonna keep the blocks there. You don't need them, but I want them because it looks better like that. All right. There's the charge. And there goes the anvil. The whole preposition of a gravel, sand, or anvil cannon happened when I was blowing up a chasm in the naval world below a desert. The sand started falling down, and when the TNT exploded, the sand shifted from its original course. So I was like, that could be used for a cannon. This is around when I this is around when I uh, met Matt for the first time. So. 
on his world on top of his really cool looking hotel, which we no longer have that world, and it's a real shame, because I had an amazing looking ship and he had a fucking awesome hotel. Uh, I made the original version where you had to manly put in the gravel. It wasn't the best thing in the world. Aw, oh, the sand broke. It wasn't the best thing in the world because we had to time it right. But now with the automatic version, we don't longer have to worry about that. That is 36 and 40 meters away from where it fired. And that's just about 102 meters away. Uh, yeah, just about 102. You should have used bedrock instead of obsidian on the, uh, on the crater there, because then it would look matching. Alright, this is what you're going to need for the next cannon. The next cannon is going to be a much, much, it's going to be a much better version of the gravel cannon. Because it is the OP gravel cannon. Or I think I called it the gravel cannon mark, mark something in the redstone engineering world. Basically it's just the OP cannon combined with the gravel cannon. Which, no, I guess I should call them anvil cannons, because I prefer anvils over gravel and sand. Because, you know, they do, they do a lot more damage to people or things. So, let's get everything set up, shall we? Basically, you're just building a another OPOA cannon. But this time, you're going to have the extra arm attachment there to have the uh, gravel system set up. Gravel. Gravel and send. Or signed. I guess signed works the best for it. <laughs> I like pronouncing things wrong. Like purposely, but when I do it accidentally I hate it. Alright, let's get the most important component to any of these cannons. The redstone! Again, since it does, since there aren't repeaters on the base here, drop the base, you can just fill it in completely with redstone. Really, you only need one line, so if you're like trying to cut costs and survival making this shit, then uh, that would be a good thing to do. But redstone's everywhere, so it doesn't matter that much. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me just fill up all the redstone. Alright, so have it like that. One more up, actually. Put the piston down. Fuck off, sheep. There. Finally fucked off. Alright. Three blocks. Now start adding in the repeaters. Yep, that was nine. Okay, put the obsidian in. Obsidian in. Redstone torch, redstone, redstone. Pull all the repeaters back, because you really shouldn't forget to do that. It's a bad thing if you do. Not with this cannon, but with most cannons. Or the cannons that have repeaters. Of course, ammo or projectile of choice being the anvil. One of my friends, you may notice that you haven't seen my friend in a while during this video. That's because I told him to fuck off and uh, do some, make some things, doing some stuff. So that's what he went and that's what he went and did. Went to go do. That's grammar. Yep, the anvil definitely went out there. Let's go see where it went. Jesus Christ. Oh, 
Alright, so I have a hell of a one for him to track down this time. I'm, uh, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Damn. That's 102, so that's just like about 150 something, I think. Ah, uh, that's what my friend's doing. He's making more pixel art buckets. Me and him work together on the first one, then I just told him to go do something, and I guess he just decided to make buckets. Alright, now, a piston door. Or at least the, uh, a simple piston door. I'm gonna use, uh... I'm gonna use redstone ore. Now, let me just lay down the base, drop the base. By the way, the opening for the complicated and simple piston doors, for as far as I know, or as far as I can make, they can only be too wide, but they can be as tall as you fucking want them. <sighs> Alright, let me just put in the uh, base blocks for moving. The second the more advanced version of this is actually camouflaged so you really can't tell it apart except for that it has a redstone power source near it this one is pretty easy because there's a dent in the wall but if you have like your entire building with that design on it it's kinda of, like harder to tell Just to make sure that works. Yep. Oh shit, um. Don't put the pistons there, I am sorry. I forgot what I was doing for a little bit. You need to have them one back from the entrance, like that, how I have it. This is the correct way of doing it, I'm sorry. Just because I'm not tired doesn't mean I'm not brain dead. <laughs> Alright, so let's add in the repeater and, of course, the redstone, my favorite material in the fucking game. Of course, connect the circuit. You don't need a, uh, you don't need a repeater at the bottom here, but I just like to keep it all in time. Connect that up, and then put in the lever, make sure it works, yep. And then add your blocks. That works perfectly. Oh. And of course, what you can also do... Whoops, I broke the wrong thing. Fuck it. What you can also do is... Uh, make a quick system. I call it a redstone clocker. Uh, this is actually a larger version, you can make a smaller one, but if it suits the purpose that I have for it. Uh, let's put all these one back. Add the tor or the lever right there, and of course connect the circuit. Do a quick pulse, and now it does that automatically. No, it doesn't have enough power, hold on. There we go. Anyways, I've been... Wow, he's he really got some work on those, hasn't he? Done some work. That's, that's working pretty well. You could have a faster version of the uh, redstone clocker, like how I said. But that's just, you know, demonstration purposes. Alright. Anyways, guys, girls, and whatever, this has been my first tutorial. I've been Wanna Chaos2033. If you have any questions, comments, or whatever, please leave a comment, okay? I will answer them. And don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Spin off into the sunset. Sunrise. Midday sun. Subscribe! <laughs>